Hello, this is Katie, and I wanted to show you guys the uh, die cut and bond tape. I will put a link to it down below. I bought it on Amazon. Um, it had wrapping around it, and the bottom and the top are kind of sticky. It had a like plastic papery type thing covering it, but I took them off. So maybe just don't store it near dust or cat hair or anything. Um, so uh, I feel like it's pretty oops, similar. Sorry to this so I'm actually going to try both of them it is a lot wider um obviously than the sequang tape um but I think I'm going to try both of them but uh, I do like how it worked I tested it earlier so I will set that one aside and I'll show you this one um I have my big shot next to me I'm just going to use some orange cardstock and I'm actually going to set this down here for a sec <clears throat> because it's taking up too much room. So I have a few dies. I have um, Happy Birthday from Hello Bluebird, and then I have a couple cats from... I don't know who this is. Poppy Stamps. Uh, it's not on the front. So we will use those as well. And then I have um, these little stars from Paper Smooches. So I will show you those. Okay, so what you do on either side, if it's just the color um, paper, you take the tape, and I'm going to get my scissors ready. You take the tape and lay it across the paper. And I'm just gonna trim it. It just gets very sticky. It may stick to your scissors, so just be careful. Okay. Stick it back on itself there. And then just make sure that this is really flat. <clears throat> and stuck to your cardstock. Okay. Then um, I'm going to trim up to the edges so that I know which area I'm using. But we'll probably just aim closer to the middle of this whole sheet. Okay, so basically now I have like a big sticker that I can peel the back off of. So what you want to do is... <clears throat> let me set the dies to the right of me. Okay, so then we have a die cut machine. We'll put down the paper and it's got the sticky on the back. We will do happy birthday and then some stars and then or two kitties. I don't think I've cut these out yet. They're also still stuck together. Okay, so we will run this through. And um, with my Big Shot, I always run dies through once and then just bring them back so this should be good. And so what I like about this is that it kind of makes, I'm going to set this aside so I can look at this with you. It kind of makes it um, come off really easy. So because the sticky part is on the back side, the die comes out. So you're not fighting with trying to get the paper out of the die. And the same goes for that. And this one, for this one, the eye is staying in there. So I want to make sure, and it looks like the paper came off too, so the eye is sticky. So I'm gonna leave that in there until we need it. And then our cats are in there as well. And they come out really easily. I think it's because the the tape is pretty um, thin. But you can also just peel these off. So I'm just going to stick these Two, let's see. Oh, I have some. 
I just have some extra white cardstock here. So you can either just like this one, I think is just coming off. It's a little bit harder to pull out just that detailed tail. Um, so this one will just peel off like that. But now I basically have a sticker so we can put that one down. And it's got really, really good coverage, even on fairly detailed uh, dies. This one I will take out. And then you just peel off like a sticker on the back side. So you've got the white peel off part, and then you've got your other cat is now a sticker. And then uh, for Happy and for things like this, let's see, I actually have, a ruler, a T-square. So if you have something like this and you wanna make sure, these will just come out, they come out very easily. A little bit easier than they would if they were just paper. Um, for times you want to line up a word or make sure it's straight, that's where this ruler can come in handy. And you just peel off the backing and then you've got a sticker. So we've got P, P, Y and just poke out the middle there. helps to have somewhat of a fingernail in order to grab it. So for this one, I would just go from like the bottom of the Y and pull that off. But this stuff is definitely good at full coverage on the back of the die. So now we've got a straight happy. And then this one, I think I pulled this out first. I tested out the happy birthday earlier and honestly you can just grab the well we poke these out I think I spent some time poking those out as well <clears throat> but it still comes out very easy for a pretty intricate die aren't my favorites to work with. Intricate dies are very, I mean, they're just intricate. It's what they're going to be. Usually I use my uh, tweezers to poke out the more difficult areas. Hmm. I'm going to peel off this backing. Okay, this might be a little bit easier. So, I'm not sure I can fit the birthday with the cat, so I'll put this down here. So we'll just start and let it lay, and then I'll get this D out of there. So just press it down where it's naturally going. And then this is where we have, I'll just set this over it, and I'll pop out the eye that was in there. That's kind of off center, but you can move it a little bit. So the only thing is that there's a little bit of maybe fraying of the paper. If this isn't auto focusing, I'll try and zoom in. So you can see in here um, some of that. I usually just go around with my tweezers and scrape the edges uh, if it doesn't look good. So you can do that too. Yeah, that auto focus was on, there we go. Okay, and then the last ones are these stars. 
they should pop out just fine. So I do really like this stuff for what it is. And I think I'll do a quick test um, on, I think I have one smaller piece <clears throat> that'll put the other one on the uh, Sook Wing tape and see if that kind of behaves the same. I do think this stuff is a little bit thinner, but it makes for quick, easy die cut stickers. Uh, I do think it is better than the little Xyron sticker maker, which I do have as well. Uh, it's just full coverage, pretty much a lot easier than making sure that your sticker maker has covered uh, all the areas. So I will take this stuff here, which could be thicker. It might be about the same. It's just not as wide. So I'll put a strip down here make sure that is <coughs> pressed down and then just trim it down actually let's do this okay I'm going to do the stars and then I'm just going to use my uh, sidekick so I don't have to use my big shot and this doesn't really suction to the thing I taped to, to my table, so I haven't been suctioning it down because it doesn't hold anyway. But this works just fine if you hold it. And I run this forward and backwards as well. So it does go through twice. Okay. So we have this. And this seems to kind of maybe not punch out the back so much. It looks like it didn't fully go through, but they are coming off as stickers. So it looks like that tape is probably just as good for kind of the same thing. Um, there might be a little bit more pressure if you look here in my sidekick as the little dots came through the little holes on the die kind of pushed through, whereas maybe not on the big shot. But um, as far as tape, it's probably about the same. I think both are very good. This is just very wide and good for maybe bigger dies or bigger projects. Um, but that is it. I will link the item down below where I bought it on Amazon. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.